D, wait for it. Light bulb. I got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And welcome to my weekend review where I come to you every Sunday with three entertainment stories that I personally find interesting and then we discuss them down below. Also down below is the three articles, or in this case, four articles that I read to bring you this video. Um, and you can go and read those and you can, you know, make up your own opinion or whatnot, or you can just listen to me because I'll just break them all down for you. You don't have to waste your time with all that stuff. Um, I just want to say though, before I get started, that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like myself usually get pushed to the back of the line. So I please ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you in advance and I ask you to do this to any other small YouTuber, I'm pretty sure they would really appreciate it a lot. So why don't we go ahead and get started? So for my first story, it looks like HBO Max has put to order a show called Minx uh, to series. Now, this will be 10 episodes and it will be a half hour each episode. Now, it's set in the 1970s Los Angeles and it will be starring Ophelia uh, Loving Bond. Now, you may remember her from Guardians of the Galaxy. She played that pink alien um, woman who helped out uh, the collector. Um, I, I She may have had like a not that big of a role but i do think that she was memorable just because she like kills herself by touching the the power stone and blows up and everything and, and destroys uh, uh the collector's little uh, collection um so i think that i think that she was memorable so that's always a good thing uh but she will be starring alongside uh jack uh johnson you may know him from recently, The Mummy. Um, and then he also voiced Peter Parker in the Spider-Verse, uh, yeah, the animated Spider-Man movie uh, with uh, Miles Morales. I, I enjoyed that very much. And I like Jack Johnson. I think he's I think he's really good. I don't think he gets enough work, in my opinion. I, I really enjoy him. Whatever he's in, I, I even if the movie, like The Mummy was terrible, but I like Jack Johnson in it. Um, yeah, I thought he did a good job. Um, I think that, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, what is this about? This show is about uh, Olivia um, Love Bond, Lovey, Love, Livey Bond, Livey Bond. Oh, shoot. I don't even know how to say her name. Um, but she is uh, a woman and she is um, she and Jake, uh, Jack. Gosh, she and Jake Johnson's character, they uh, he's a publisher and they they create the first ever erotic magazine for women during the 70s, which I think that it'll be very interesting to see this only because it'll be just like hopefully a bunch of nudity and sex scenes. I don't know about you, but uh, I I enjoy those in my TV shows, not all my TV shows, but you know, you know, you know, when you get adult content like this. And I think that this uh, is good for HBO Max, just in the sense that they always just need more content. And I mean, 10 episodes, half hour each. I mean, th those work well for people like myself, because, you know, sometimes you only have that uh, half hour and you're just like, what do I fill it with? Oh, here's a show that I can. So that's my first story of the day. So for my second story of the day, uh, Black Adam got some casting this week. Um, now the film is officially started uh, filming this week, which is great. Um, and they've added two uh, new members to the cast. The first one was uh, uh, Jamie Kasati Moyer, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, and he, you may know him from Prodigal Son. Uh, I don't remember him from that just because uh, I don't know if he played a big enough character for me to remember. And if he did, I still don't remember because I really don't remember that show a whole bunch. But he recently was in a play called Slave Play, uh, which he is up for a Tony for that. So good for him. Um, and then the second one was uh, Body uh, Sabin... Goo gooey. I did not say his name right. I apologize. Please don't get mad at me. This, uh, I, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, now he got his DC uh, debut in Legends of Tomorrow. Um, he played a younger version of, uh, of uh, uh, Zari's brother. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. And then he was also in the show A Million Little Things. Now, I don't remember him on that show only because my wife loves that show, but I don't really watch that show anymore. Uh, so I I'd have to ask her who he played or whatnot. Um, now, neither one of these two uh, his character has been revealed. Uh, they won't tell anything. Apparently, uh, uh, Bodhi's character is very uh, crucial and everything to the plot. And then I'm pretty sure... Uh, Kasadi Moyer, I'm pretty sure his uh, 
character is <laughs> crucial to. I, I hope they're big and everything. They haven't revealed the plot either, um, but I do hope that it's cool. I hope they play superheroes. I can't get enough superheroes. I'll tell you that. Um, and um, I'm excited for both of them. And uh, I hope uh, uh, Jamie wins that uh, that Tony. Good for him and all that. All right, and so for my last story of this week, uh, She-Hulk <laughs> has cast uh, Renee Elise uh, uh, Goldsberry uh, to uh, cast her <laughs> in their in their TV show. Now you may remember her from Hamilton. She was in Hamilton. She was great in Hamilton. Um, she's an excellent singer. And she will be starring alongside uh, uh, Tatiana Muslani, who is playing uh, Jennifer Walters, a.k.a. She-Hulk. And uh, she will be playing uh, a character that is referred to as Amelia. Now, Amelia is Jennifer Walters, a.k.a. She-Hulk's best friend in the TV show. Now, though, they could change the name of the character. I, I mean, it might not be Amelia when the show comes around. They just might re be referring to that to kind of throw you off of who she is, which I think is super fun. I, I hope that, uh, I hope that uh, she plays a character from the comic books. Now, this is a legal comedy, um, and it will also have Mark Ruffalo and Tim Roth return as their characters from the Marvel Universe. Um, I don't know if... I don't know if it's just going to be like one episode cameo kind of thing or if they'll play multiple episodes. You know, I'm not sure. And they haven't released that. And if they have, I didn't see it upon. I just read this article and everything. But uh, I think that that'll be I think that uh, Renee Elise Goldsberry is a, a good uh, a fit to this. I think that she's great. She was great in Hamilton. I haven't seen her in anything else. If she has been in anything else, I don't remember it. Sorry. It's just one of those things. But I do think she's very hot. She's from this picture that I'm looking at. She's she's looking good. Um, and uh, like I said, if they have her sing, it'll be good because she's a great singer. Um, Jessica Gao is the head writer on this. I don't know her work either. Uh, I, I don't know if she wrote she hauled comic books or she wrote comic books or anything like that. But hopefully this show turns out. Um, I like legal comedies, uh, you know, whatnot. I, I think that this show uh, will be interesting um, to say the least. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for it. So those are my three stories for this week. Sorry, it's a little bit of a short week. Uh, I was not feeling well this week. So, uh, you know, I didn't have time to really uh, look up a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, so tell me, what do you guys think about uh, these three stories? How do you feel about HBO Max ordering this show Minx uh, starring Jake Johnson and uh, Ophelia Lovibond? Oh, I don't know how to say her name, last name. I'm sorry. Um, and uh, are you, is this something that you'd be interested in? A 1970s uh, erotic magazine for women kind of show and everything on HBO Max. And do you have HBO Max? Um, and how are you enjoying it so far? How do you feel about Jamie uh, Kasadi Moyer and uh, Bahati Sabun Gui being cast in uh, Black Adam? Um, I think this is great. I know a lot of people were upset that they didn't cast enough uh, brown people in this uh, movie. Um, I know that they cast, you know, they did cast... Um, Quintessa, Quintessa Sindel uh, is a, a cyclone, and then they did cast um, uh, Aldous Hodge as a Hawkman, and those are two uh, black people. Uh, but I did, I have seen a lot of people upset that they didn't cast enough, you know, Egyptian actors and uh, brown people. Um, so I, I get it, I get it, you know. And they, the last one of the big cast was a white guy. I get it, I get it. But at the same time, I go, you know, it's not like, uh, well, I mean, Dwayne Johnson himself as brown so you know you know he's he's the main character of the movie and they have had two uh two uh two or three other characters that they've cast i didn't write it down in my notes sorry but uh uh and they're women um so uh i i don't know where i was going with that thought sorry anyway so and then my last story uh she hulk how do you feel about renee ellis goldsberry uh being cast as amelia in this show i think it's great um i i, I first off i love tatiana muslani i think she's great she's so hot too both these women are hot so be nice to see him on screen sorry I, I i don't know if that's appropriate but uh i think it'll be great to see them both on screen and i can't wait for this show i'm enjoying the show so far from the mcu um you know they're not as good as the movies in my opinion but i think 
think that they are good. So it'll be interesting to see this legal comedy take place. I hope it's more legal than than comedy because I'm not interested in, you know, like ah and everything. And I, you know, I object ah and kind of thing. I I, I would like a more law and order kind of kind of uh, thing, but a little bit of funny is always good in there. So those are my three stories. Tell me what you guys think about it. Um, and uh, yeah, you can leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're new to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next Sunday on my Week in Review. You guys have a good week. Bye. Hey, nerds. If you like this video, go ahead and click that Geek What icon and subscribe. And if you like this video, go ahead and join me every Sunday with my Week in Review.